and welcome back to another episode of Ending Medica 6 Expert, where today we're finishing off some of our infrastructure work that, uh, that we started last episode. So at the moment, I'm just crafting a whole bunch of Wixie charms. Uh, we were kind of short of these. It was a little bit of a pain to get because I haven't automated, I haven't automated a bunch of stuff. Um, things like Wixie shards, we have to go find witches and cast a spell on them. Uh, there are some, there are some empty, empty villages nearby. But uh, let's speed this guy up a bit. Does this work? I think this works. I mean, that definitely works. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today is basically finishing what we've started, and maybe we're going to start like heading back towards working on this on this facile fuel. We'll see how we go. I've got some other plans that we, we could do instead that, that are going to help us in the long run. So, if I put this in here, we should now be able to craft one of these neural things. And that is going to test out the last recipe in this abomination. So, there have been some people suggesting things in the comments around you can use like crafters in pulse mode and then it'll only like shoot one lot of recipes into a chest or I guess some sort of storage and then somehow using a comparator you can kind of stop it inserting too many things in. Um, so I have not done that yet but you can see I did go through with my initial idea of separate things for each recipe except we're sharing them for one. So this is the last one that needs set up. So I've kind of been going along and like you pick pick one of these, this is going to be that guy. Uh, so we'd say you insert these and we want three of them. And then on this channel, you insert one of these. Uh, you then need to extract there, extract there. We chuck these in. Stuff ends up over there. And that's a pretty slow craft. So that is the downside. Uh, if we were sharing one orb for everything, we could be utilizing like this nitro energizing rod that I made in between episodes, which, yeah, that was, that was significantly faster. <laughs> so yes, not quite sure. I don't really fancy, uh, resetting that up again. Um, so we want to extract these neural things and then insert them into this chest. And that should be the automation done. So the advantage of doing it this way over sharing a whole bunch of recipes on one is we can craft things in parallel. So we can craft energized steel, blazing crystals, naotic crystals, Spirit of Crystals, you get the idea, and we can craft them all at the exact same time, provided we've got the resources. Um, if we're sharing a single energizing orb, they kind of have to go on serial, so it has to, to first do the energized steel, and then do the other one, and then do the other one. So that could slow us down. Admittedly, the advantage of having all of your energizing orbs pointing at one, well, all of your energizing rods, rather, pointing at one energizing orb is the crafts are going to be way, way faster. So I'm not sure. We'll see how we go. It might make sense to have like a really slow recipes all going into one energizing orb that has some really powerful energizing rods. Yeah, we're going to do something. But this this will work for now. It will work for now. Hmm. Uh, also, in between episodes, I started crafting up a bunch more of those components. And they're still happening. So this is still kind of slow because we're bottlenecked here. Uh, and I really just need to whip up another assembly unit with all the laser stuff. And then if we have them both pulling out of this chest, it'll go twice as fast. Because it only ever pulls one item out. So we can still have the crafters pointing to the chest and just have two of these grabbing stuff. And that would, that would speed up things twice as much. Which I might do. I think that could be kind of cool. 
Uh, we have oil getting processed again. Uh, I had two full elite tanks pumping in there. And that's something I still would like to automate, is the, uh, the harvesting of oil. So uh, many, many episodes in the past, I originally thought I was going to set up a, a drill here. Not the drill, the, the oil oil derrick thing. I forget what it's called. Uh, we, we probably want to, to not have you existing. I mean, to be honest, they're never going to explode because we're wearing those shoes that scare creepers, but still. Yes, so we've got our core sample drill. That did lead us to discover that there is a crude oil reservoir here. Uh, and there are 4,000 buckets of oil. And that's not an unlimited supply of oil. It's actually a little bit on the small side. Um, I prefer if there was way more. Uh, just because I don't want to have to set it up again in a different place. So if we set up the, the thing for pumping out oil, we could then pump that, I guess, in, pretty much into this tank and then constantly be producing these fuels. Uh, we could then direct, I think we'd still keep LPG going into this guy and making us molten plastic. We probably want a black hole tank for molten plastic, to be honest. And just have like a horrendously large supply of it. That would be cool. And then we can pump this other stuff into air compressors. Uh, but if we go back to our original book, um, upgrading the components of thermal machines, this is going to be done. We've we've split out our energizing oils, but we might want to come back to this. We got a second pressurized chamber. I don't think I'm going to go for a third. I can't be bothered. Uh, bees, we never did. But that's a lot of talking about things we could do. Let's improve the speed of this. He's He's working. He just takes a while. I can't remember what was involved. Can't remember what was involved in all of these assembly tables. Oh. Oh, neat. Oh, because we crafted them this way, but now that we've got it, we can make these packages. Oh, that's kind of neat. Because that should be a lot easier. We don't have to set up the create stuff. Cool. I'll set up the recipes for that and we'll move this and we'll get two of them set up on one chest. And that should be cool. Nice. Now these all kind of follow the same pattern where you've got these things are assembled in this assembly unit setup thing. And they come from these patterns, well these are packages rather, and they are all pressure chamber recipes. Now the only thing I'm not going to try and teach the auto crafting for is this thing. Uh, we'll just, we'll just do this manually. Hopefully we've got some lubricant left over somewhere. I think we have to make that from... We can buy it from the Imidron, I might do that. Eight buckets? Yeah, we'll probably do that. We'll, we'll just buy it. Now, uh, but the rest of these should be pretty straightforward. We've got a bunch of just straight up crafting recipes. Uh, I think I, I taught everything. Oh, that doesn't show the recipe. I taught everything we needed to make these things. We just didn't have this recipe. Uh, these need to go over here. Now I suspect, I suspect. And yeah, we're short. I mean, we're not going to be crafting that armor again anytime soon. So we can take that out of there. And then the rest of the stuff is... Oh. We need bigger crafters. We need the bigger crafters. Uh, I think we can craft these now. Like, two of them. Neat. Go. Now, while all of this stuff is crafting and... Ooh, the component's finished. Nice. Ten more integral components. That was a lot faster than the first time I crafted them. Uh... So we'll, we'll chuck them in some machines shortly, but uh, something else that I really should have made a long time ago. The wireless grid for refined storage. So I don't have to keep coming back over here every time I want to look at something. So I don't know what the power costs are going to be like for this thing, but 
this should be all of the recipes to make it. We should be able to ask for a wireless crafting grid. Apparently, yes. I don't know how long that'll take. Uh, and then we also need a wireless transmitter. Uh, which is one of them. And then we're going to want some range upgrades. And I don't quite know how expensive they are. I mean, that doesn't look bad. Okay. Larger crafters installed, so we can now craft these things, uh, hopefully. And we should also have... Oh, yes. We have a wireless crafting grid. A wireless transmitter. And some range upgrades, which these might be, yeah, dangerous. But, oh, I don't know why I didn't make that a long time ago. And we just got some processor bindings. Uh, cool. And ender pearls. Okay. Okay. Neat, I guess, I guess. Now, where do we want to set this up? Um... Like we could, can we just put this here? And then we can see how much he's using. He's using 512 FE attack. Okay, uh, we'll charge up this guy. Now, we're going to want to sort some sort of inventory charging out, <laughs> but we haven't yet. Um, so we can put him there. I don't know what the hotkey is. Network not found. Oh. Do we? Ah, oh, I think we have to link it. There we go. There we go. And then we put this back in here. Control G. Nice. And I don't know what the range is. That's already pretty good. Can we access it from here? We can even access it from there. So the entirety of the factory. That's probably most of my use cases. But we do have this <laughs> range upgrade, and that doubles the range. Does that double the power cost? No. If we did that, we can only have four, 320 blocks. Oh, so that's the most. Oh. And that's a thousand. Huh. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great. I made way too many of these. Um, we can use them in some other things, so that's okay. Maybe not a complete waste. Ah, but neat. So we can like pop over to the reactor. See that he's keeping on top of the power. It's pretty aggressive, like how much <laughs> how much it drops once. Uh, he stops generating, uh, but that's neat. That's neat. And yeah, we can access stuff from here. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. But cool. That is done. Let's craft. Uh, new meta craft stuff. We want one of these. One of these. We're missing compressed iron. No, we're not. Well, currently, because I never taught the recipe for how to make compressed iron, this 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 is how we get compressed iron. Like it works. It's not great, but it it does work. Uh, then we convert that to ingots. Yeah, I should sort out something better for that. <laughs> cool. Things are starting to work. Uh, did have to swap from trying to insert into the hoppers uh, because there's too many things in the recipes. Like there's six things and hoppers only have five slots, so it wasn't accepting the, the items. I was very confused as to why I was getting machine doesn't accept item uh, error messages. But I think that should be... Well, at least some of the components. So we've got the laser, we've got the drill, we got the pattern. We need another 
drill on laser if pattern. I don't know why I made two. Now we're still waiting on this guy. And I'm hoping we could put these modules right here. Uh, and then when we put these assembly controllers here and here. I think I think this is all gonna work. We're we're about to find out pretty shortly. Uh, I need to hook into the pressure, which is kind of all the way over there. I guess I'll probably just can I run it underneath? Uh, we can't really run it straight underneath because there's stuff in the way. Well, so you kind of want to kind of want to change all this as well. So if we hit a pipe here, how easy is it to put the regulator? Uh, I don't know how easy it is to... Right, we're going to have to sacrifice some air pressure. We put the... No, we don't want that pipe. Oh, we did want that pipe. Oh, we're losing so much pressure. If, 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 if... We have the regulator here. I'm hoping this will be fine. The security upgrade and these things. Maybe? Oh, wait, were they for this? Oh, I haven't hooked up the pipes yet. <laughs> Dear. That's a bad idea. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hopefully that doesn't explode. And then we can just run these pipes. I won't connect it yet. Not ideal, but rough enough. And then uh, hopefully these things don't explode either. And then let's test it out, and that should be kind of cool. Sweet. So pressure is up. Um, I'm thinking having the regulator right at the machine is actually not a bad way to do it. Uh, because look, look at the pressure animation. That looks like more than, than this one. So I think perhaps running these pipes all the way along is the way to go. We'll we'll do that in a second. Uh, in a second, I don't need to do that on camera as well, but let's test out this. If we were to craft something that requires a lot of a lot of assembly table stuff, I think one of these crafters is a good candidate. Yeah, we got like a few of these things. Right, go. And if we're quick enough, we should be able to come up here. And, oh, I still have to... Yeah, I'm going to do... This is not going to be as nice, but we're going to do this and this. <laughs> um, and one of these to extract and extract. Now... Oh, that's inserting stuff into here. Well, he's still got some pressure, so that might be okay. I want to see this stuff working. Oh, I haven't put the recipes in yet. That'd, that'd do it. I, I, I haven't put the recipes in yet. They're still all... Yeah, they're still all sitting down here. And yes. That is... That is working. Now, they're a little bit slow because they split the speed upgrades, so we're going to want to make a couple more of them, but that's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. That's definitely going to make this faster. And with a couple of speed upgrades... Oh, these are finished. Okay, well, we'll check in these speed upgrades and let's get... Let's get another one of these crafters because that'll be handy. Oh, okay. Well, okay, components, these are normally like hard to make. It's gonna be, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, there we go. He's working. He's working, I think we're a little bit... <laughs> yeah, see, so he missed the... <laughs> he was too slow. But once we get a bunch of stuff in here, that's going to be better. There. So he's processing, and now he's processing as well. Pressure's 
pressure is actually pretty good because we only get to 4.9, so it's, it's holding pretty steady. Neat. But hey, let's let's leave it there. We've got ourselves some parallelized uh, assembly table stuff. Uh, paralyzed. Par paralyzed? Parallel. We're now processing stuff in parallel with two assembly table setups, two pressure chamber setups, uh, and 10 energizing orbs. Although we're only using, like, I'm walking backwards is hard. We're only using nine out of 10 of these yet. Probably some more automation to come with this in the future, but uh, it's certainly, certainly better than it was. It doesn't get jammed, and that was that was the main, the main issue. But anyway, it's been Classic Duff. Thanks for watching. We'll come back next time and hopefully, hopefully finish doing a bit of this uh, infrastructure setup that I've been neglecting. See you in the next one.